Uh, cheers. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm 15 years old, and last week I was defusing a bomb against a clock in one ton Afghanistan. The week before that, I was the first person to teach a robot to box professionally. It was just a few weeks before when I was saving a helpless princess from an evil king, as you do. Now, hands up if you believe that I actually did those things. I love you. <laughs> no, I'm here today to explain how I managed to adventure to these different worlds in films such as The Hurt Locker, like Afghanistan, Real Steel with the boxing robots, and The Princess Bride, Saving the Princess. It is through participating in an event in my school with a weekly club. I'm a member of Film Club, a national film charity that enables school children to watch movies and explore these new worlds and adventures every week. I'm a member of their talent development scheme, which trains kids up to become capable of doing assignments, whether that's interviewing industry professionals, going to film industry events and festivals, or hosting a live webcast on their online show. These opportunities are for children who before wouldn't have a chance to touch the film industry or be allowed to explore it. Over this year, I have had the chance to experience firsthand what it's like to be part of a youth development scheme, and this is about my journey. Picture me before I got involved with the talent development program. I had a slightly smaller afro than I do now. I didn't know what I wanted to do in the future, and although I had the confidence and people skills, they were raw ingredients compared to the attributes I have today. But I didn't fully comprehend how many opportunities there were on offer until one day I was invited to an event at the Millennium Stadium after winning a film re review writing competition and being asked to write an article for the local paper about what, what happened at the event. I had my first taste of interviewing when I was chosen to speak to the Welsh Assembly member, Leighton Andrews, and the 30-second interview I gave to the press afterwards geared me up for great things ahead. As a result of this, I applied to become part of Film Club's talent development scheme, a reviewer, uh, to become a reviewer with a review I'd written about the film I Am Legend. Hands up if you've seen I Am Legend. Hands up if you enjoyed it. It's a good film, isn't it? <laughs> the main character, Robert Neville, may have had to walk his road alone, but I'd have the people and support needed to achieve what was ahead. So when they accepted my application and asked for me to become a reporter, not a reviewer, I knew that good times were ahead, but I could never perceive just how enriching they would be. The training day arrived, but I wasn't sure of what it was about or why I was doing it. I had a willing heart, yet a slightly confused mind. Looking back, those training days were as important as school lessons, I've had to this day, how to prepare questions for the talent, AKA the person I'm interviewing, how to interview the talent and how to think on the spot. It was all incredibly useful, not merely for interviewing, but for outside a film club too. As I did more training days, I was gaining the confidence needed to become a film club reporter at ease with any assignment I may be given in the future. Change is the key word. I was being molded from someone who could perform the occasional rap on stage. Think big, think big now. I love that. And present assemblies into someone who was happy to speak at conferences and have his voice heard on potentially every radio in Wales. I, f I felt privileged to be doing this talent development scheme, but in May, I had to put my training into practice for my first real assignment. I had to tour a film set, oh, the woe, the shame, <laughs> before interviewing the actor Michael Sheen, who has starred in The Damned United and The Queen. But despite the film set tour and the successful interview, the thing I remember most was the professional coolness I felt. I was totally at peace, unaffected by the status of the man I was interviewing, and it was down to the training days. Proud at the success of the interview, I wanted more. A few weeks later, I was asked to interview the First Minister of Wales and two other Assembly members for a short film of interviews compiled by Film Club about making a difference. The campaign was encouraging young people like you to use your voice and why politics involves and motivates you. So again, 
I composed the questions, I asked the questions, and got a really good response. I really enjoyed the whole political side to the Making a Difference campaign. Some of the answers really influenced how I now feel. The most memorable answer being when the First Minister told me how voting is like using your voice. It was also interesting talking to him off camera about topics such as music and films. It wasn't until I revisited the Senev in Wales for the third time to watch my interviews that it really hit me what I had achieved. I gave a speech just like this one in the Welsh Assembly building to promote the Making a Difference campaign. The person standing behind that podium that day barely resembled the person who sat in the audience watching movies last year an almost indescribable transition. My favourite moment of this whole experience was being interviewed on BBC Radio Wales afterwards. <laughs> My voice was out there. Friends and family had heard me being interviewed on BBC Radio Wales, and it was then that I began to understand that I had adapted to the way that the film and press industry worked, and I was able to finally be a part of it. So what's in store for the future? I'm happy to do any assignment given, it's an honour to represent such an important, influential organisation such as Film Club. I'm going to host one of their film webcasts at the end of the month. But now I'm happily looking into the horizon. Before I got involved with this scheme, I had no idea what career I wanted to, to do in the future. But since experiencing what I have, I'd love to go into journalism. I just want to finish by saying that anyone can achieve anything if they set their mind to it and by taking an opportunity when it comes out. Thank you so much for listening, guys.